Okay. Hey guys. So I'm making a new one here because I had some different problems. So these are the problems one through six and one through nine from Friday. So I'm going to work them like I said, and they'll be posted up here this evening, this afternoon. I'll send you an email that you'll probably at least know. Look at this. All right. Let's do number one here. So I have a half sample, half life of 100 gram sample. Okay. Of nitrogen 16 that decays to 12 and a half. So I need to take the 100 gram sample and I need to reduce that down to 12 and a half grams and it took only 21.6 seconds. Okay, so that's the total time. So I need to know what is the half-life. It's asking me on that. What is the half-life of uh, nitrogen 16? So I start out with one half-life would be 50. Two half-lives is 25. Three half-lives is 12.5. Okay, so it went through three half lives, so that's easy. So then I'm going to take three and divide it into 21.6 because I had three half lives, three into the total time it said 21.6 seconds, which is going to come out to 7.2. 7.2 um, seconds is the half life of nitrogen 16 because it took 21.6 seconds. Okay. To go from 100 grams to that and I want to know so that's saying 7.2 seconds here 7.2 seconds here 7.2 seconds here to that okay so the first answer was uh, 7.2 seconds okay all right so that's the first one number two number two says all isotopes titanium are radioactive but they are widely varying half-lives so I have an 800 gram sample okay and it goes down to 100, right? This happened over 639,000 years, okay? So same thing, it's like the first, I need to find out what's the half-life of it. So I need to take this from 800 to 100, okay? So one half-life, half of that's 400. Two half-lives is half of 400 is 200. Three half-lives, 200 goes to 100. So once again, it's three half-lives, okay? So if I'm now down to where I wanted to be, three half-lives, if this is the total time, I'm going to take three and divide into the total 639,000, okay? So I need to find out each channel half-life, so that comes out to be 213,000 years. So the half-life of Tactanium 99 is at 213,000. And if you want to check that, 213, 213, 213 should add up to this, okay? 639,000 years. So I just once again took 800, half life it down to 100, which turned out to be three years. Remember, I start, I don't start with that. Half, half of half, three times. That's the total. So three divided into that tells me each half life is 213,000 years, okay? That's two down, four to go. All right, four to go. Number three, 208 gram sample of sodium decays to 13 within 60 hours. So it says, what is the half life of this radioactive isotope? So once again, 208, and I'm going all the way down to 13. So what's half of 208? Uh, 104. Two half lives. Half of 104 is 52. Uh, half of 52 is 26. And one more half life. Half of 26 is 13. So there it must have went through four half lives. Okay, right there. 208 down to 13. That took 60 hours, people. 60 hours. All right? So within 60 hours, so what's the half-life of that? So four half-lives, four into 60. Okay? So four into 60 was 60 divided by 4 equals 15. Okay? I should have that in my head. So it took 15 hours. So once again, first step, it took 15 to get to here, then 15 here, then 15 here, 15 here. 15 times 4 is 60. So that's where the 60 came from. And I need to find out what the half-life was of that one. So the answer is 15 hours. Okay? Three down. Three to go. Okay? I'm going to move my sheet up here real quick. Okay, number four. Oh, it looks like this is one through nine. Sorry, this is the one through nine. Ouch. 
All right, iodine 131, 8.1 days. How long will it take for 50 grams to decay to that? So, 50 grams, one half life is 25. Two half lives is what, 12.5. Is that what I wanted? No. Three half lives is half of that, 6.25. So once again, three half lives, all right? The half life of iodine once more is 8.1. Two days, so this was 8.1, 8.1, 8.1. 1. So now they want to know how long, so I'm going to multiply, all right? So 8.1 times 3, 8.1 times 3, one of the total, okay? So that was 324, or I'm sorry, 8.3. Ah, 24.3, okay? 24.3 days. 24.3 days, right? Because this time it gave me the half-life, and I needed. They want to know how long would it take to go from this to this? 25, 12 and a half, 6 and a half, 3. So that means three half-lives, 8.1 times 3, 24.3 days, okay? Four down, five to go, okay? Number five, quick one here, 0 0.025 seconds, super fast, all right? How long will it take 560 gram sample to decay to one fourth. Now, this is what threw you off. One fourth is the same as two half lives, right? Because think about this. If this is my 560 gram sample, one half life, half of it goes away, which leaves me with half. Then, if I go through another half life, which this is already gone, half of that, half of the half, that leaves me with one fourth, right? So the question was, how long would it take 560 gram sample to decay to one fourth its original? Isn't this one fourth? So you don't even need this 560, it was a decoy. So it went through two half lives. So just take 0 0.025 times two, the answer is 0.5, okay? 0.5 seconds, that's it, 0.5 seconds. 0 0.025 times two, it's 0.5, make sure it's 0.5. 0 0.025 times 2, yep, oh, point zero, excuse me, point zero 0.05, I thought that's what it was, 0.05, okay, all right, let's see, uh, 0 0.025 times 2, yeah, point zero 0.05, point zero 0.05 seconds, so set, you didn't need the 560 at all, it was asking for one fourth of the original mass, so that's two half lives, okay, don't overthink it, don't overthink it, all right, five down, number six, Chromium 48 has a short half life of 21.6 hours. How long will it take 360 grams to decay to 11.25? So 360, half of 360, okay? So I'll do this quick here, my math's not 360 divided by two, 180. Two half lives is 90. Three half lives is 45. What was I going to? 45, four half lives, half of 45. 45 divided by 2, 22.5 divided by 2, 11.25, that's what I want. So it went through five half lives. Okay, see that? Half of 360, one half life, two half lives, three half lives, four, five, 11.25, that's what I wanted, okay? Each one of these steps took 21.6 hours. So if this is 21.6, five times, so just take 21.6 times 5, everyone. 21.6 times 5 equals 108. 108 hours is your answer. 108 hours. Okay? 108. 1, 2, 3, or excuse me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 21, 6, 21, 20. And so add them up, times it, doesn't matter. There's your half life, went through 5. Want to know the total, it says. How long? So that's the total. All right, 108 hours. Okay, six down. Number seven, potassium 42, 12.4 hours. I got an 848 gram sample, 848. Potassium will be left. Okay, how much of 848 sample of potassium 40 will be left after 62 hours? Okay, so now it's giving me that and it's asking that so I, it's telling me I need to figure out if each half-life is 12.4 and the total time frame 
the deterioration was 62 hours, so just divide 12.4 into 62. Uh, 62 divided by 12.4 equals 5. So what that's saying is this must have went through five half-lives. One, two, three, four, and five. So it said, has a half-life of this. It wants to know how much of this is left after 62 hours. So I needed to know how many half-lives. So it gave me individual, total, that into that says five. So divide 848 five times. So remember, 848 divided by two is 424. Divide the second time. 212, divide the second, third time, 106, divided by two, fourth time, 53, divided by two, oops, oops, so long, choo, choo, choo. 53, divided by two, 26.5, okay? So after 62 hours, this 848 sample will have divided all the way down to 26.5 grams. That's what happens after five half-lives with that one, okay? So same information, just asked it in a different direction. Remember, what is the key? What are the questions asking? That's what we keep. It's not the math. It's not the format. I know you guys understand it. It's just plugging it in. Read it slow. Take your time. All right, let me slide up for eight and nine here real quick. Okay, so eight and nine. Where what threw up was the scientific notation. So I told a lot of you that asked, write it as the full number. So this would be 1.719, uh, move around 4.1, 2, 3, 4. So that's the same as saying 17,190. That's much easier to plug that in in a calculator. Here's my half life. You're used to seeing that for carbon. So let's so know how much of 144 is left after this time frame. We'll just divide this into this which goes three times. So if I take 5730 oh, and divide that into 17190, oh, it comes out to an even three. So just take 144 and I want to know what's left. One, two, three. What's half of 144, which is what, 72? Am I right, my math's right? 144 divided by two. 72 divided by two, 36. Divided by two should be my 18. So my answer, 18. So the answer on this one, how much of 144 is left after this time frame? 18 grams, okay? Last but not least is the last one with scientific notation, okay? So same thing here, write it out as the big number. I think it's much easier that way. So this comes out to be 704 million, eight places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight places here. Six, seven, eight, yep. And this one is two, eight, two, zero, boom, 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 one, two, three. Okay? So this is my half life, and this is the total time. The half life you're going to do the five. So if I had, here's the tricky one. It's the only one I asked you to work backwards because it says, and 12 and a half grams remain. So that means this is what's left after the breakdown. It's already got down to that point. So I need to know, it's asking you after this amount of time, 2 trillion, 820 million, how much of the isotope was originally there? So I want to know how big was it before I got to this? So I need to know how many half-lives. Here's my half-life, divide this into this. And it comes out, I believe, um, 3.99, which is four, I believe. So if you take 2820 divided by 704, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 equals, yes, 4.00. So basically four half-lives. So this is easy. So this must be the result of the four. So three, two, one in the original sample. So now you're timesy. I'm going backwards. Well, what's 12.5 times 2? 25. 25 times 2 is 50. 50 times 2 is 100. And we know the original. So this must tell me the original sample was 200 grams. Check my math. If I start out at 200 grams, what's half of that? 100. One half life. Two half lives. Three half lives. Four half lives. I just went backwards and forwards. So this is the only one I asked you 
this is what you ended up with, you had to work it backwards. So just because you have these two big numbers, don't let it confuse you. And you, if you didn't see this, you probably went the other direction. You probably took 12 and a half and did it four, four ways that way, but it said how much remains. So this is, I had to go backwards, okay? So that's one through nine, okay? Now I'm going to uh, do one through six for you real quick. So I'm gonna stop this video.